All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol WKHS, Workhorse Group Inc. And before I start with this chart, I do want to state some things. And the first thing is welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope this video means you well and you find it helpful and informative. To all my subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and recognition to my efforts. I hope to continue to give you guys helpful and informative information and nothing less. Let's jump into this chart. So yesterday, our support was literally at the closing price and quickly right after the resistance level was broken through, quickly dipped, hit a low, a new low actually, from the previous lows of 1683. And from that point forward, it had a run. The bulls looked at it as a discount and advantage to go ahead and take care of that opportunity now our resistance levels and supports have changed and this is going to be a very broad stretch here as we can see and hopefully it all shows here in the system so our our new support level slightly moved up and it's actually the lowest point before the run and that will be at 1702 and our resistance level is the highest point that this reached and it got rejected after this run and leveled off and our resistance level was 1982. now honestly before paying attention to this support all the way down here of 1702 i do want to point out the fact that the 50 day movie average is in the middle of all of this and it's 1841. 1841 is the first support why because this is what lets you know whether it stays in bullish territory or if it's going to fall into bearish territory so before looking at 1702 1841 can give you a sense of direction in which direction this chart is going and who is starting to gain leverage and dominate the control over this chart are the bulls staying in control or are the bears reappearing and bringing this down to newer lows so if 1841 does get crossed you would really want to pay very close attention how it's reacting in bearish territory could there be a sign of recovery in a one minute five minute 15 minute chart um, throughout the day on the next trading day next week when this one is reacting that way for the bulls to reappear or are the bears really dominating and breaking through 1841 significantly and bringing this to newer lows because if they are our true support level is the lowest point before this run and that's 1702 if 1702 gets broken through you're just getting closer to the newer lows of 1683 so bear that in mind i want to emphasize how important it is to see how it's acting at 1841 the 50 day moving average and breaking through it letting you know it's gone into bearish territory or if it's staying in bullish territory and if it's heading down 1702 is definitely a point to be very diligent and watching what is going on with the stock to see how quickly it's hitting newer lows is it going to recover from there does it really use it as support by the bulls to bring this back up but i mean at that point you're deep in bearish territory so that's something to bear in mind so before waiting all the way till 1702 as a support the 50 day moving average will definitely let you know in which direction this is going if the 50 day moving average does get broken through it could have a chance for the bulls to recover and bring it back up from there but it, you want to see how quickly it's moving down and how quickly is it getting closer to 1702 after closing on 1956 what the bulls want to do on the other side of the spectrum, which is the highest point that the stock reached in this bullish run, is break through 1982. That's our resistance. The bulls need to turn that into a support so they can start to hit newer highs. And if we zoom out, it's almost in a recovery back to the highest point in the bullish run, which was 2061. So if 1982 does get broken through and turn into support, that will be their next goal. Of, of 2061 and start to hit newer highs and newer resistance levels as this starts to pick up momentum and continue so the question is will the bulls be able to continue this momentum take advantage of how 
they've received an opportunity to be back above the 50-day moving average? And could they stay above it by breaking through the resistance, turning into support, and hitting newer highs? I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you guys feel inclined or encouraged to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell so that you guys can turn on all notifications and be up to date on all chart analysis that I post. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. And let's make some money.